Hello Suns fans and welcome to your Round 20 match preview here on Suns TV. AFL.com.au's Michael Whiting joins us and Fish, let's start with Tom Lynch. Earlier in the week, Jonathan Brown said he was the best player in the game. Is that a call that has merit? Yeah, it is. It's, um, so I guess it takes you by surprise when you first hear it because it uh, hasn't been said before and it seems a bit outlandish, but when I went away and thought about it, he's definitely in the conversation, Tom Lynch. I mean, there's other great players like Patrick Dangerfield is probably one that crops up a lot. Nat Fife, who we tend to forget about because he's been injured. Of course, Gary Ablett as well, but I think Tom Lynch influences games probably more than any other player this season, and particularly in a struggling team. If you put him in a, a team performing better, you could see him kicking 70 or 80 goals. And um, yeah, pretty astute comment by Brownie. He's third in the Coleman medal mm. race. Uh, a good run home for the Suns. Do you think he can uh, take out the award? He can. I mean, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, every week so crucial. He's only three goals behind. He's a little bit unselfish for mine, Tom. He, t he gives off uh, as many goals and he's looking for his teammates as much as he's looking for his own, um, his own impact on the scoreboard. So he can. I think it's a little unlikely, but obviously only three back and with four rounds to play, it's still in play. A big task for the Suns this week, the Giants at home. You witnessed uh, their big win over Brisbane three or four weeks ago. Just how good are the Giants? Oh, they're as good as any team in the competition. I know Hawthorne are rightfully the favourites for the flag, but as uh, Rodney Eade said today in his press conference, he wouldn't be surprised if they were there uh, come grand final day. And it's hard to argue with that. They're such a powerhouse running team. They run both ways, and that midfield is just so deep. They don't just have five or six. They've got seven, eight, nine guys through that part of the ground, and they just create so many chances for their forwards. So that really strong midfield, who do the Suns need to watch from there? take your pick. I think Tom Scully's having a great year and there's probably no better runner in the competition. He runs both ways and whoever lines up on him, if the Suns decide to put someone on him, they're going to have their hands full. Dylan Shields, a guy that's got a lot of class in that part of the ground. They've just got so many names. Ryan Griffin, uh, I'm not overlooking a bunch of guys I know, but um, they're, Sheil and Scully are the ones that jump to mind to, for me. The Suns have a pretty undermanned midfield, but how do you think they match up with them? Yeah, it's just that run that's the concern with Jesse Lonigan now out as well. It's a lot of pressure on guys like Tuke Miller and Alex Sexton. What I've loved about their game the last couple of weeks, they can not only play on a guy, but they can play off and get their own ball. So they're going to have to do that again on Saturday. Mitch Hallahan will come in. We've, of course, we've seen uh, Jack Martin spend some time in there as well. So just not, probably not enough bodies, I think, is the major worry for the Suns. And the Giants have weapons right across the ground, a really strong forward line as well. Yeah, they do. Jeremy Cameron, who's um, you know, been spoken about a lot. Uh, John O'Patton, I think he's playing his 50th game. He's a huge man, hard to match up on. And it's the, more the little guys as well, the Steve Johnsons, Devin Smith's very clever. And those midfield options tend to get forward. Josh Kelly, those sort of blokes tend to get forward as well. So just a lot of different options for the Giants. We're three from three for wins for this match preview so far, <laughs> but obviously it's a bit tougher this week. What's your prediction for the game? It might have more to do with the players than us, but we could take a bit of credit. But I, th I think the run might come to an end this weekend. It's, um, it's hard to see Gold Coast being super competitive. It's something they have shown in the last seven or eight weeks is that competitiveness and willing to, willingness to play four quarters. But um, hard to go past the Giants. I think they'll win pretty comfortably. Thanks, Fish. The boys have been super competitive the last couple of months, and I'd anticipate a really competitive performance against the Giants here at Metricon Stadium this Saturday.